Hello, I'm Wenhe, and today my topic is discourse marker, like. And here's the video that I'm going to use from YouTube channel called Cantonando. Before started, let me give a brief definition of discourse marker to you first. So, discourse marker is a word or a phrase that plays a role in managing the flow and structure of this course. Since their main function is at the level of this course, rather than at the level of utterances or sentences, these course markers are relatively syntax independent and usually do not change the truth conditional meaning of the sentence. Common discourse markers used in the English language include, you know, so, well, like, I mean, okay, and so on. And for like, according to Anderson, who says that it has two categories, clause internal and clause external. Clause internal means syntactically bound to and dependent on a linguistic structure as a pragmatic qualifier of the following expression. And it has six functions. Like as a hedge, like preceding numerical and measurable expressions, like before in exact quantities, focus like, clause final like, quotative be like. The second one is clause external. On the other hand, which means syntactically unbound when it is external to and independent of syntactic structure. And it has three functions. There are linking and cohesion, like as a hesitation marker and repair indicator, like as part of general standards and complex lexicalizations. I have chose a clip starts from 4.42, ends at 11.47 for 6 minutes long. And according to my account, Mike, the male, using like for 22 times, and for Tiff, the female, using it for 66 times. The reason why the outcome has such a big difference is because Tiff is talking much more than Mike in this seven minutes. So let's take a look on the first clip. Then I will explain what role of like is playing in each sentence. It was really awkward. What did you think about me again? Like me I'm, as a person, I'm so monotone. I'm not trying to be awkward, but like, no. I'm just, I hate small talk. They are being asked that what initially attractive to each other so they have this conversation. There are two like being used in this clip. The function of the first like is making focus of the turn as a person. And the second one is searching for the appropriate expression. As you can see from the transcription, there is a micro pause before the following sentence. Using like in such case gives the speaker pause Sessing time to think or refine what they are going to say. In addition, although there is a one second pause, the speaker used the like in here tells the hearer that I'm just looking for the good word. So the speaker can still maintain the turn talking position. And let's hear the conversation again before moving on. It was really awkward. What did you think about me again? Like, me I'm, as a person, I'm so monotone. I'm not trying to be awkward, but like, no. I'm just, I hate small talk. And now let's move on to the second clip. In this clip, they are being asked that why did they break up? I take a lot of pride in my communication. I had a lot of resentment built up in the relationship because during that time, I think you were in school. I was working on cancel manual and stuff like that. And I just felt like you weren't putting your priorities straight. You weren't worrying about your future as much as I was. And I think that part of me was just like really resentful that I'm like, yo, why are you not caring about this aspect of your life? Yeah. 
like in here of the first use is part of the general extenders which commonly occur in the final position of the sentence. Similar with such as and for example, we often use it in our daily life, like something like that, someone like that. And its function is to extend the information which is given. So it makes the sentence more understandable and listener friendly. According to Mueller, in this sentence, like signals an accurate but selective representation of what the speaker has in mind. So in here, the speaker thinks that their YouTube channel, Cantomando, is the representative example. And usually, it will be said in a fast way and in a low voice. During that time, I think you were in school. I was working on cancel manual and stuff like that. The second use is hedging. You can notice that before like, the speaker inserting the adverb word just to avoid the argument. Because the speaker knows the following content that he is going to say can make the listener unhappy. So by using like, can shield himself. Then, for the last one, be like. This quotative marker expression is used to introduce speech that the speaker said before. The function of this use makes both the speaker and hearer have a vivid scene in their brain. And also inform the hearer that the quote is not the exact same sentence compared to the original one, but the meaning is similar. Moreover, here in this sentence, the speaker used the present tense and like rather than the past tense, I was like giving the here a theatrical effect. The frequency of using be like in conversations is super high. Let us watch a clip of how they use it when they are talking about their first met. Freaking awkward. You guys are just like, oh, Sh Sheldon, um, there's someone here that wants to say hi. And I was like, hi. And then you guys were just like, and then I was like, yeah, I watch your videos with my mom. And then you guys were like, oh. Thanks. You know, Sheldon, he's like, oh. Okay. Now, you may have the sense that how be like can bring hearers to the actual situation and make them feel they're in that situation personally. Combining non-verbal language and verbal language using be like frequently that I can imagine how awkward their first met was when I first saw this video. So let's move on to the last stage, the summary. I have simply introduced the function of hedging and making focus and give more details on the function of like as a pause filler, general extenders, and as a quotative marker. We know more about how like plays a role in searching for the appropriate expression, so there will be some hesitation side a few second pause, for example, but the speaker is still taking the charge of talking position. For the general extenders, it helps the hearer easily understand the concept or category which the speaker refers to. And for the quotative marker, it has been discussed that how quoting can help the hearer to reconstruct the original scene in their mind, even though they were not there. And that's all for the presentation. Hope you enjoyed it and thank you for listening.